What's up, people? Hello, 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 hello. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys, hey, Kim. Come on in, yes. What's up, Sean? Hey, Deanna, hello. Hello, April. Dion, did I say that right? Deanna, like Deanna, Deanna. What's up, Nakia? Hello, everyone. Hey, Miss Baker. Hey, Miss Burns. Hello, Dominique. Hello, Miss Burrell. Hello, everyone. Hey, Kimberly. Come on in. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Laudamir. Hey, Joy. Hello, everyone. Deanna, Charlene. Come on in. Yes, you guys coming in quick. Janelle, hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Miss Overby, hello. Or is it Overby? What is it? Which one is it? B E B Y, bye. Hello. What's up, Kathy? Hello, everyone. All right, guys. So, oh, yeah, giving hearts early in the game. What's up, Billy? Sheila, if I did not see your name, three of you came in at the same time, so it went by quick. Arizona in the house. Hey, Nadine. Hello, Ellen. Hello, everyone. All right, guys. So, hey, Andrea. Hello, 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 hello. All right. So, hey, Sophia. What's up, Trinetta? Trinetta's in the building. So Trinetta, since you're on here, you can help me um, with these questions. All right, guys, I'm doing a 30-minute Q&A. Literally, Trinetta, somebody, keep me accountable. 30 minutes. That's all I can do right now. Um, my um, husband went to the store to grab something, so I am taking advantage. How many of you leverage your time, right? So I'm leveraging my time right now. Hello, 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 hello. All right, guys, so right now, I'm starting a 30-minute Q&A. I don't know what time it is, but at this moment, I'm starting a 30-minute Q&A. So if anyone has any questions, to, uh, uh, just jot them down right here. And yes, leverage your time, yes. So right now, I am um, gonna answer any questions that you guys have, if I know the answer. If I don't know the answer, then of course I can't give you an answer. But guess what? Once we hear the bell, <laughs> that's right, Nakia. Yes, you already know. When you hear that alarm, that chime, and my man is home, I am done, son. Yes. So, um, Nakia, you already know. All right, um, so does anyone have any questions? I'm going to answer your questions. If I don't know the answer, then I will direct you if I can. Because, you know, I don't know it all. I know a lot, but I don't know it all. So, what's up? What are your questions? 30 minutes. So, who has a question? Can a licensed homemaker companion call their company an agency? Um, but yes, absolutely. So if you have a homemaker companion, um, business, um, you can definitely, you are an agency. So yes, you could be ABC. You can even say ABC home care agency. You can say ABC homemaker companion. Absolutely. Um, you are an agency. You could say business if you want, but I personally would recommend saying agency. Absolutely. Coach, my choice for... Uh oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, coach, my choice for food about conference from Ticket Bud. What do I need to do? Uh, Missy, send me a message. I'll send you the link. Um, but guys, since I've decided to do um, um, a lunch and learn with you guys, we're going to have really good box lunch. 
Um, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do a lunch and learn. I have an amazing, amazing powerhouse person coming to conference. And literally, you know, I have my conference, you know, a speaker may have 15 minutes, 20 minutes at max. I'm literally giving her an hour because she's going to teach you guys a lot, a lot, a lot about how to build relationships. Who do you contact? Um, Oh, I'm telling what I wasn't supposed to tell. Coach Rob's not here. Okay, but anyway, powerhouse, powerhouse. So we're doing a box lunch on um, Friday and Saturday, and it's working. It's a working lunch. So if those of you that have plans and you're going to sneak out during lunch, you may not want to sneak out because I'm literally teaching you through lunch on how to do something specific on Friday and something specific on Saturday. So when you go back, to your um, office, you're able to rock and roll. I want everybody making a whole lot of money. The theme of, for conference is there's a whole lot of money in the room. So uh, let's see. Hey, coach, I'm going to become a VIP next week. I'm from the Bronx. What's up? To start your homemaker companion. That's what's up, Bronx. Yes. Represent for the Bronx. BX. Yes. Congratulations. Come on over. Do you use an app to track mileage or um, map? No. So the way we track mileage is um, the caregiver, right? So from the client's home to wherever the um, caregiver went and back. So if the and we always know where the caregiver is going. So the caregiver doesn't arbitrarily just say, "Okay, I'm taking Miss Jones somewhere." So when we do our um, initial assessment, we ask. You know, your doctor's appointments, you know, um, errands. Sometimes, you know, we have within a 10-mile radius, especially for Medicaid clients because Medicare doesn't, Medicaid doesn't pay for it. So, um, so we'll know, okay, where the caregiver is going. So if the caregiver is going from Ms. Jones' house to Dr. John's house, then we know what that distance is because we, we do. Trinetta, can you help out with that? Because um, that's something that you were con in, in, in control of. And I see that you're on here. If I didn't explain it correctly. If you use some type of mapping system. As a matter of fact, I think Trinetta mentioned on our Medicare Advantage training that um, we there's some type of app that she, she was using. So Trinetta, can you answer that question for um, Brittany? Thank you. If I didn't answer it correctly, um, what license should I apply for in in New York? So the last Deanna, De Deanna, the last time I checked, the licensing for home care in the state of New York was uh, there's a moratorium, so you were not able to submit an application, and that's if you're doing personal care services. If you are doing homemaker companion, the state of New York does not regulate that, so then you're able to go ahead and start your business. Um, if you're doing homemaker companion only, if you want to do personal care and you want to wait for that, then you would have to, you know, wait until they open it up again. However, I could tell you, it takes a very long time. Even when they were open, it takes a minimum of like 15 months. So that's not something that we've ever helped with just because that time frame is too long. And my program is 12 months and I want people to rock and roll and start making money within that 12 month time frame. Actually way before then, um, but at least inside of my program, I, I, I have an opportunity to really help someone. I can take them from... Um, not having a business to having a business, or if someone already has a business, they can come in and then that way they had a whole 12 months to just focus on growth, um, marketing and different things like that. So, um, other than that, there's no, no type of, um, home care license required. So you have that. Well, if you want to become a Medicaid provider, you could do that, but I can't give you information on that just because I don't help with Medicaid, but I can tell you it's very tedious as well in New York. Um, I just posted, I've submitted my application. Um, is there anything to work on while waiting on approval? Absolutely. Nakia, look at the, um, inside of the hybrid program. Many times I've answered that question. So go into the archive and when you go into the archive, um, just scan through the timestamp and you'll see many times, 
that question. So there's a lot that I want you guys to do. My VIPs, so I won't go into that on here because that's specifically for my VIPs, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot I want you to do. Um, so just go into it. There's tons of information. I've answered that question a lot. Um, what are the best ways to leverage care.com? Personally, I don't recommend care.com, um, but the best way to leverage care.com is if you post as an individual and then when you talk to them and it's not bait and switch or manipulation, this is business. So you're able to get in front of that person, find out exactly what they need because the majority of the people on care.com, they are looking for individual private caregivers, not necessarily agencies. So the best way to do it is put yourself on there as an individual. You can still have your business, but you're, you're, you're able to get in contact with them. You're able to leverage it and you're able to call them. And then when you call them, you're going to explain to them what it is that you do. You're going to first find out what they needs are, and then you go through the whole, you know, process. So, um, there's a specific way you have to do, well, not have to the way, you know, I recommend doing it. And my VIPs have had success with that. It's more in depth. Um, but I, I personally, care.com was created for nannies, right? Baby, babysitters. So then they got into the senior industry because it's such a lucrative business. So they, um, started doing this, you know, saying, Hey, we can send you some leads, blah, blah, blah. But it's really just still the same concept. People go there looking for, um, nannies and babysitters, and they go there looking for caregivers to take care of their loved one. So you got to really know how to leverage it in every single marketing option that's out there. Um, um, each one, you got to know how to do it because you can't treat all of them the same. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I am struggling with staffing because Medicaid is the only income my company have. What should I do? What you should do, Jacqueline, is diversify. You have to have multiple streams. Thank you guys for all the hearts. You have to have multiple streams of income um, coming, revenue, excuse me. You have to mo have multiple streams of revenue coming into your business. I don't recommend just being a Medicaid provider. The number one source of revenue in this particular industry and probably any industry is private pay. A lot of people are scared of private pay because they think people can't afford it. That's a mindset. A mindset shift must take place. If any of you are thinking people cannot afford private pay, guess what? That means you are shopping out of your own pocket. Yes, I'm stepping on your toes. You are shopping out of your own pocket if you think somebody cannot afford it. That's the number one way that we all get paid. Um, unless you just focus on Medicaid or Medicaid may be the larger percentage of your business. And that's great. I know people like that. I know people with multi-million dollar agencies and they just do Medicaid. However, just like I said on the last um, candid conversation that I had, do you rather have a hundred clients with two, four, and six hours, or would you rather have 10 clients that's 24 seven? You do the math, right? So we have to think about quality versus quantity. We have to think that way. And then the other thing is with Medicaid, like when we're, we're in the state of Georgia with the CCSP and the source and blah, 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 they pay you $4.51 um, every 15 minutes, which is $18.04 um, an hour. And now if you're paying your caregiver $15, $16, plus you're paying your employer taxes, guess what? You are really not making no money. So when people get out here in front, yes, can I say hashtag front? When people get out here in front and say, oh, I have um, 5,000 billable hours, and then somebody's feeling bad because they may only have 500 billable hours, but guess what, baby? You can make more with 500 billable hours than somebody with um, 500 billable hours. You know what I mean? With a thousand billable hours with 5,000 billable hours, because what if all their hours are two hours, then they have all these caregivers. They have all this overhead, all this stress, and you making more money with them with 500 hours and they got a thousand hours or whatever the numbers, you know, I'm mixing them up, but y'all get my point. So do you rather have one client with 40 hours or would you have, would you rather have four clients with four hours each? 
You need one caregiver, where over here you need a bunch of caregivers. Guys, the turnover is sick. So there's a lot of things that you got to think about. People get caught up in numbers. People get caught up in trying to impress people. I always tell you guys, I don't try to impress anybody. I always impress upon people. You got to know the the, the what makes sense, right? You got to know what makes sense. You just don't want to go out there two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. That means every time Ms. Jones needs a bath, somebody else is giving her a bath. Would you want your mama or your daddy to get naked in front of a new caregiver every day, every other day? So all money is not good money. And you got to put the client first, put the caregiver second, and put yourself third. That's how I operate. If I make my client happy, my caregiver is happy, I don't have a choice but to be happy. If I charge the appropriate amount up front, I can pay my caregiver a fair wage. And guess what? Then I can make money. So I don't, Jacqueline, so I don't recommend just being a Medicaid provider. And if you are a Medicaid provider, you still got to make sure it makes sense. How much are you getting paid per 15 minutes, which is called a unit? What are you getting paid? For, for for each unit times that by four, that's going to give you your hourly rate uh, wait, uh, 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 rate, and then you got to figure out, does it make sense? Because if you're out there trying to pay a caregiver 10, 11, 12, you, you, you're going to be short. It's as simple as that. You're going to have a high turnover. You're going to have a hard time. So let me know if that helped you. Which company do you recommend for caregiver training? There's multiple companies. So one... I, Nakia, did you hear that? Nakia, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. So which company do you recommend for caregiver? So first, I recommend that you create your own training um, because then that's going to save you money. Cre invest in creating your own training. Ha pay your nurse to create the training and then you have it forever. Um, but if not, I mean, Caregiver List is a good company. In the Know is a good company. There's a lot of companies. I know somebody over here laughing at me right now because I was like, my husband just went to the store. I need 30 minutes. I'm going I'm to do 30 minutes. In, 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 in the key, I said, I told Trinetta, I said, help me keep track of the time. I got 30 minutes. In the key. I, I, I put this chicken on. Take your time. Yes, but look, look, coach. Babe, the kids say, oh, we know that sound. We know that sound. So when the, when the alarm just went, I'm like, y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? <laughs> so I'm doing a 30-minute Q&A. I'm, I'm cooking, so. Oh, you cooking? Yeah, well, cook, boo. Mm. Guys, fine, brilliant, smart man, businessman, know how to flip that money, know how to flip me. <laughs> and cook? What? Okay, let me get back on track. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, hashtag lunch and learn. We're going, girl, we got something for you. We got something for y'all. All right, I was told that I couldn't be a Medicare provider. So, um, right, Medicare doesn't pay for the services. So you could do Medicare Advantage, but Medicare doesn't pay for the service. You're doing Homemaker Companion. Um, what's up, Tiffany? Hey, Brittany. Uh, it's a whole lot of money in the room. Yes, yes. It's a whole lot of money in the room. Yes, yes. So that's the theme, guys. It's a whole lot of money in the room. Remember in December, I told you guys in 2022, we are going to talk about money. I, I put together literally, y'all know I don't be planning and boom, boom, boom. It's putting together agendas. Guys, this morning, by the grace of God, when I woke up, I had the whole vision the whole vision, I got on my phone, I started recording, sending messages out to my 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 tribe, my 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 not tribe, my my team, my um speakers. Guys, when I tell y'all we gonna freaking bring it at conference, everybody already know ain't no conference like the Coach Michelle conference, but when I tell y'all we are gonna freaking bring it, y'all have got to come to conference. Well, no, let me change that. Those of you that have purchased a ticket, because I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to sell them to get no ticket. That ain't it. Those of you that have purchased a ticket, y'all have got to promise me. Hashtag promise. And I've never asked anybody to promise me anything. Because I, I never put myself in a position where I could be set up for failure or not reach my goal. So, so I need y'all to hashtag promise. If y'all come to con conference, please, guys, hashtag promise. Please come to conference with an open mind. Please leave any mess, any baggage, anything. Leave it. Come there with an open mind, ready to learn, ready to meet some 
uh, millionaires in the room, ready to glean off each other, ready to network, ready to build relationships, and ready to hear what these people on the stage are going to share with you. I'm telling you, we are bringing it, bringing it, bringing it every year because I do the work. Every year, every conference gets better and better and better and better and better. Guys, we're bringing heat. Like Coach Rob said the other day, heat, heat, heat. I got pumped up today. I got pumped up today. So y'all, that's all I want. If y'all come in the conference and y'all got your ticket, if y'all didn't get your ticket, y'all can get it. Remember, we opened it up. We added 40 more um, tickets. And some of them already gone. I think 10 or 12 already gone. And I just hashtag promise, if you have a ticket that you come with an open mind, you come ready to receive, you don't come with no mess, and you be open to doing the work. I promise you, we're going to tell y'all stuff to freaking do. I'm telling you. I have been following you for years. I will be joining um, your group uh, someday soon. Okay, well, come on. As long as you're ready to do the work. Hello, 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 hello. I spoke to a friend yesterday, and I was excited to tell her I got my license. Immediately, she said, I am not... Uh, immediately she said, I am not an agency. My spirit went down, but I knew what, um, what I'm doing. Thank you for the confirmation coach. You are an agency. Tell her to stop hating. Come on, wait, let me back up. So you, mm, you, I don't know if I should say this. Let me, let me, let me think about how I can say this. Guys, if you have someone within your circle, y'all, everybody probably ain't going to agree with this, but Y'all know, this the how I roll. If you have somebody in your immediate circle and you call that person a friend, a family member, or whatever it is, relationship, and you share your excitement and your joy with them and they shut you down where you feel some kind of way and they tell you what you're not, how can somebody tell you what you are or what you what you are not? That's, that's, that's like somebody coming to me and telling me I'm not a leader. Cause they, cause, cause they see me having fun on Facebook. Nobody can't tell me I'm not a leader. I know I'm a leader. I'm a leader all day, every day in everything that I do. That's someone else's perception. That's someone else's hate. That's someone else's, um, not stepping up to who they could potentially be. That's someone else that, that may be jealous. That's someone else that may be envious. Now I ain't talking about your friend. I'm just speaking. I'm just sharing because if my friends come to me, I'm like, what? You what? You have an agency? Yes. What can I do to help you? So what, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. You, you got time right now? Hey, let me pour into you. Let me give you some strategies. You know, business is business. You, you know, I, I, I don't play this on YouTube and Facebook. I'm good at this thing. Hey, what, 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 how can I help you? So do you need anything? You got you got your cards. You need, my team need to build you, uh, create you some marketing material. You need some referrals. I'm hyped up. I'm so hyped up. They're like, wait, wait. That's why I didn't want to tell you. I, I don't have everything together yet. That's why I didn't want to tell you. I didn't have everything together yet. Because I know you don't procrastinate. And I know you be there for me. And I know you be ready to help me make money. So uh, wait, hold up, Michelle. So you know what I'm saying? That's 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 how I roll, right? So if you come to somebody like my husband, he's gonna cheer you on too. But guess what? He thinks differently than I do because I be I'm ready I'm ready to rock and roll. And coach, you come to coach and like, hey, I have a business. He's like, okay, congratulations. So let's talk about this, right? What what before you before the tsunami come in? You know, do you have your um, levies in place? You know what I'm saying? Coach Rob gonna ask you, do you have your levies in place? He's not gonna be all excited and talking about okay, let's get these clients. No, he wants to make sure that if the dam breaks, you secure. He wants to make sure if the tsunami of clients come, the influx, that your levies are secure. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Coach Rob and I are the bomb together. That's why we are so successful because we think alike and then we think differently. He's an operations type of person. He, he dissects everything I do. And he's like, okay, all right, you know how to get out here and, and make this money. You know how to get out here and market. You know how to do all this. But what about the systems, coach? 
okay, babe, what about this? What about this? And I'm like, boo, that's what you good at. You good at the operations. You good at making sure that the levees are secure. You good to make in making sure that there's enough levees. You're good that if the levee break, you got a backup. You know what I mean? So the systems are good. So we got to make sure that we know who to share our gifts with, our talents with, our success with, our goals with, our, uh, our, our wins with. Because if not, you're going to feel like you did something wrong. Baby girl, you are an agency. You are. I have clients that generate uh, 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 over seven figures. Y'all probably seen some of the testimonials. And guess what? They have a homemaker companion agency. There's people out here that have a law firm and call it an agency. There's people out here that have a hair salon and call it a boutique, an agency. There's people out here that do graphic design and call it an agency. Come on, baby. Yeah, you're an agency if that's what you want to be. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I explained it correctly. Thank you, Trinetta. Trying to, um, reduce overhead with payroll HR. Um, what's your thoughts on, um, virtual on virtual Nadine, you have to help me out because payroll is virtual because it's not in your business. So it is virtual. HR is not in your business. It is virtual. Unless you're saying that you have, help me Nadine, if you're saying you have a person sitting in your office and they're doing payroll and HR, that's not how I taught you. I want you to go back and do it the way I taught you, Miss VIP. And let me know. Um, do you pay mileage on private pay, Medicaid, uh, Medicare? So again, Medicare doesn't pay for home care services. So private duty. Um, so do we pay mileage? We pay mileage to any caregiver. I don't care how the client is paying us. That's not the caregiver's business. If the caregiver is rendering a service, can I get an amen? If the caregiver is rendering a service, the care in her car drop. Well, first of all, let me back up. Cause I seen this in the private Facebook group also. So if the caregiver is providing service to a client in the home, hospital, Hosp uh, hospice, wherever. If you send a caregiver out, you need to pay that caregiver. I don't care if the state paid you, didn't pay you, the, uh, the mama didn't pay you, the daughter didn't pay you. I don't care. The caregiver needs to be paid. If the caregiver is providing a service, the caregiver needs to be paid. If the caregiver is driving his or her car, going to run an errand with Miss Jones in the car or outside of the car, the caregiver needs to be reimbursed for her mileage, her gas. I say go to the internet and type in 2022 mileage, IRS mileage reimbursement. I say whatever the mileage reimbursement rate is with the IRS is what you should be paying. And guess what? You're going to write it off anyway. The caregiver should never be in a position where she's working or he's working and not getting paid. The caregiver should never be in a position where she is driving and not being paid. Who wants to work for free? Even now, now you can say, okay, Medicaid providers, Medicare Advantage provide, uh, um, excuse me, Medicaid um, clients, whatever source that's paying you. You can say, okay, for these, since we're not able to charge them, because you can't charge Medicaid uh, members anything. Then you say, well, we cannot provide transportation. Guess what? They have free transportation. They have Medicaid transportation. They have county transportation. They got sisters. They got brothers. They got mamas. They got church members. They got kids. So you just say you do not provide errands and transportation unless it's private pay. Um, how do you get the reimbursement for mileage if possible? So I just explained that if it's the family, if it's private pay, then guess what? The family, you put it on your invoice and you have it up front. It's in your agreement and the family is going to pay you. You're going to send them an invoice every week, every two weeks, depending on how you do it. And then you're going to have your line item for mileage. It took Miss Jones to the doctor 50 miles, you know, doctor, grocery, blah, blah, blah. It's 50 miles round trip for all of them collectively and X amount of cents per X amount of miles is this. And the family pays. 
Again, if it's anything else, now you could get away with it and get in charge if it's like long-term insurance and workers' comp, different stuff like that, depending on workers' comp. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. Um, what, Billy, what do you mean? What about Houston? What's your question? Um, coach, uh, where do you send caregivers to get TB testing and do you pay for it? No, we don't pay. We didn't pay. And, um, they go to their doctor, they go to minute clinic, they go to the, um, what is the other one that's free or based on your, um, um, income. So you have all the mini clinics, the ones that's in CVS and Walgreens, um, Walmart, and um, then, of course, their doctor. What's the other health department? Go to the health department and um, they'll do it free or they do it based on your income. It varies depending on where you are in the country, right? And guys, don't get caught up, Anne-Marie. Caregivers know they need to have their TB test. The, oh, coach said, thank you. Caregivers know if a caregiver is asking you questions like that, that may be not you, Amory, because I don't know you. That may be because they sense that you're new. Caregivers know if they're experienced caregivers, they know. Guess what? If they're not experienced, they still know because in order to go to CNA school, you got to have your TB. Is QuickBooks still um, the only software anyone uses for billing? There's plenty other ones, Missy, but I think QuickBooks is the best, but there's tons of them out there. QuickBooks is so robust. There's so much that QuickBooks could do. So I would just say, all right, guys, I just got a text. I'm at the 30 minute mark. Coach, how you doing, honey? All right. Thank you, Trinetta, for sending me that text. We're at the 30 minute mark, but my, my, my honey is still cooking or just starting to cook. We're having rotisserie chicken. He's cooking a rotisserie chicken. We bought this rotisserie machine and some salad and some other stuff. So thank you, honey. As a beginner, what do you suggest to use for payroll? Um, well, you have options. I personally would not do it myself, but some of you are very capable. You could do it through QuickBooks or whatever system you're using i recommend using um a payroll company so i would just say because i don't want to shout any of them out on here because none of them giving me no discount for my clients and none of them ain't giving me no referral fee none of them ain't paying for no sponsorship business is business so i'm not gonna shout anybody out right now hashtag uh no shout out <laughs> so what i would say renee is to google google small business payroll companies Google top 10 payroll companies, Google whatever. Yeah, I shout people out when they um, are giving my VIPs or my and my tribe a discount. If you ain't giving no discount, I'm not shouting you out. And by the way, let, with that being said, David with the Solutions Group is the best ever. I've been with David since 2013. The Solutions Group for insurance. If anybody needs insurance, liability, professional, a general professional a workers comp a theft bond or whatever even though workers comp is getting harder to get guys because of covid and all claims and stuff like that but i recommend that you guys go to the solutions group tell him i sent you go to the solutions group he's our spot one of our sponsors at conference I, I didn't put it out there saying hey we're accepting sponsors um but david has always sponsored us so let me give him a shout out right real real quick so David is the owner, the solutions group. He has an amazing team and, um, they actually give my people, my VIPs and they, we can, they probably extend it to you guys as well. The same rate that they give franchises. Cause everybody think franchise is all that boom, 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 franchise, franchise, franchise. Guess what? My tribe is bigger than the franchises. So why can't we get the discounts? Why can't we get the perks? Why can't we get all that? Yes. But, oh, so, okay. Yeah. So you go to David, he'll give you a great rate, but the VIPs, we have special rates for them. So they get, coach Rob just corrected me. So you'll, he, he, they're the best, 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 best. You get your quote. You can get your quote. You can compare it to other companies. Um, do your due diligence. Um, for anyone on here, VIPs, the special rates for VIPs. Thank you. Um, Let's see, what are the steps of becoming a Medicare provider in 
Connecticut. Medicare, guys, Medicare does not pay for home care services. If you call Medicare, they ain't going to pay. If you want to learn about Medicare Advantage, I did a Medicare Advantage um, candid conversation on January 31st. You can go to myhomecarecoach.com, click on candid conversations, and you can invest. It's only $50. You can invest and get all the knowledge that uh, me and Trinetta dropped. And with that being said, guys, I released yesterday a candid conversation on staffing. Me and Trinetta, Trinetta and I, we are going to teach you every single thing. Tips, strategies, processes, all of that. It's only $69. If y'all didn't get it, y'all can get it. I sent it out yesterday or the day before yesterday in the private... No, no. in the Where is it? I texted. I texted and I think I put it here as well. If somebody is interested... Um, we can put the link here afterwards and, um, yeah, we need to put that on the website. I have to send that to tech support to put on the website. But right now, guys, if anyone is interested, it's posted in the Facebook group, um, Coach Michelle's Home Care Community. And then also I text it to you guys. If you want it, you could just type right here, put a comment saying, can you give me the link? to invest in the candid conversation is it's taking place on monday the 14th so not this monday the following monday is 69 dollars um the health department is usually affordable exactly yep mileage begins with the caregiver leaves the client home um trinetta said mileage begins with the caregiver when the caregiver leaves um the client's home to run errand and back the caregiver does not get mileage for going to work and driving home exactly good point so when the caregiver if the caregiver is leaving her house going to to, to the client's home no mileage if the client caregiver is leaving the client's home going home no mileage if the caregiver is going to the corner store mileage she's going to the doctor's appointment taking them shopping whatever there and back mileage um got it thanks uh you know i've been going through the archives yes 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 and then um yes nakia you've been living in the art god uh do you have um affiliations on websites so missy you know who we use um actually um pro weaver um when you well help me when you say affiliation so I, i'm not affiliated with anyone but um pro weaver is um a sponsor with us so you guys can um kate so not pro weaver in particular kate is the representative that um uh, got the sponsorship for conference so if anybody is interested um nadine can you put kate's number here for me Kate with Pro Weaver or any of my VIPs, can you take t uh, type in Kate's um, name and just put Pro Weaver? But guys, don't go to Pro Weaver's website. Call Kate, and then you know she could tell you whatever special she has for my tribe. Um, you could do that, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. I'm still good, Coach. Would a lunch and learn be an option for candid conversation? So if you, Sarah, so that's a great question. The, um, I, at this point, I'm going to say no, because, but I, I, it may be in the future. So if you're coming to conference, you're going to get it, but it's, yeah, I just got to be at conference. I, I have someone that's going to blow your mind. That 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 right there is, is yeah. I can't say, Sarah, if it's going to be a, a candid conversation later, but what I can say is that conference, we're gonna teach y'all how to do it. We're gonna show you how to do it the the right way with with a star, with with a big big at conference. Yes, at conference. Um, how can you get the CNAs to come in for an interview without? Um, ghosting you as the employer so um so we're gonna talk about that on our candid conversation staffing joy so that's gonna take place because i can't give you an answer on that because i gotta know what you're doing how you're doing it a lot of times it's something that you're doing that's so minute but it's affecting everything 
So um, we're going to talk about it. Enjoy inside of the VIP. Go into the archive. There's tons and tons of information in there. But um, um, in the candid conversation, we're going to go into great depth because Trinetta is going to be on there. Trinetta is my left hand. She's been my left hand since 2015. She ran my um, um, offices and she is the best. She's the best. Coach Rob trained her. I trained her. She knows everything. And she's going to be on that candid conversation. So that's when we're going to talk about staffing, tell you how we did it, all, everything. We're not going to hold back. We're not going to hold back. So you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Trinetta. Trinetta Sam at 40 minutes. What's a good price to start at with private pay? Like a range. There's no such thing as a good place to start. The industry average on a national level is $24. But it really depends on what your market, your local market can bear. And it depends on what you are offering. So you would have to do your competitive shopping, your due diligence to determine what your market can bear. And then you would... Um, um, determine what you're going to charge at that time. Quality versus quantity. Absolutely. Yes. Billable hours over clients. Yes. Yep. You see my video? Uh, yep. I did a video. It's on YouTube. Exactly. Yep. Uh, they be front and cold. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's up, Silverstein? Hey, dear. Hey, Keisha. Hey, um, yes, we have 30 private pay um, clients. Congratulations, Miss Washington. Um, I needed to hear that. Um, glad, Tiffany. I love you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. One client equal 40. One client equal 40. Yep. Preach, coach. All right, preach. Hey, Linda, my dear. Hey, Shannon. Hello. Um, I want the hours. I took the advice. That's all um, I go for now. Hours. Mm -hmm. serve first wait who said that so michelle ross we got to make sure we serve first we don't want to just go out there and be fixated on hours 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 just make sure we serve first that's my mantra serve first and the money will come um hey 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 hello yep 20 hour minimum mm -hmm. if i don't make dollars it don't make sense amen rosalind say that again all about the mindset yep it is we only work five hours or more there you go mm-hmm Yep. All money ain't good money. That's right. Stress. Who wants stress? Girl, I have no stress. I have no stress. I el 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 eliminate and uh, 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 get rid of stress as soon as it comes. I just don't do well with stress. I don't do well with drama. Even when I was in a hood, I didn't do drama. Um, I, I just don't. I, I just, I'm, I protect my subconscious so, I wanted to say aggressively, but it's not like, but I, I'm just so mindful of my subconscious and I'm not going to let something get me off my game. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. No matter what it is, I'm just always in a state of positivity. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's something that you have to develop I, I i and i and you won't necessarily master it because i still work on it and that's one of the things with mindset as well is that it's a constant state of doing you you know you have to be a doer how many of you want to be a doer hashtag doer it's a constant state of doing um in 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 in, in order to constantly be in a place of peace you know what i'm saying you're in control of that um, how can you end a service agreement? You First of all, you end a service agreement based on what's in the agreement. So every service agreement should have a way out. One week notice. You know, um, if, if it's, you know, terminate immediately. If, you know, violation of policies. Um, I can't possibly make this client happy. You know what? We, this, this he's very difficult. So there's a such thing as you can't make everybody happy. And some people through their age, through their condition, through their disease, through their attitude, through their behavior, through who they are, you just can't. 
And you guys have to be okay with knowing you can't make everybody happy. Everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to vibe with you. You're not going to connect with everyone. The energy is not going to be there. You have to be okay with knowing all money ain't good money. Y'all already know, and some of y'all may be on here and just still follow me. Y'all already know many times people have wanted to become VIP clients and I told them it wasn't a good fit. So if someone is coming in, like, you know, my, my, my daughter, she said, um, she, she was, she, she was telling me a story. She was like, yo, they came in, they were coming in hot. And that was my first time ever hearing that. So now I'd be like, yo, you coming in hot, you coming in hot. So if my team is on the phone with someone and, or I'm on the phone with someone and they coming in hot, they coming in hot. I'm like, yo, I'm not the coach for you. Mm -mm, no, baby. You coming in hot right now. And you think I'm going to deal with you for 12 months? You think I'm going to deal with you for a week? You think you're going to uh, uh, affect my harmony? Baby, no. Keep your money. Go give it to the other people. Go give it to the other people. So I'm very, very mindful. And that's why one of my prayers is for God to send me the people that's a part of my assignment. I don't want no mess. God doesn't deal with mess. I ain't dealing with no mess. He ain't blessing that. I'm not going back and forth trying to make somebody be successful. If I tell you something to do, I know it worked. If I give you some suggestions, you don't try to implement them. That's on you. I'm not fighting anybody to make a dollar. I'm not fighting anybody to make a hundred dollars, a million dollars. I'm not fighting with y'all. I'm not fighting with y'all. So when we get that energy that doesn't align uh, uh, line up and it's not in alignment with my spirit, baby, and my team, no, everybody on my team, no. Is that right, Trinetta? Everybody, many times, Trinetta, Trinetta was like, no, we're going to keep the client coach. We're going to keep, well, she called me Miss Michelle. So we're, we're going, even though she just got promoted, now she's my personal assistant. Yes, four or five promotions. But anyway. So she, many times I'm like, let him go. She's like, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's, that's 68 hours. That's 58 hours. I'm like, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Trinetta, am I telling the truth? Um, yes, that's how I operate. Same caregiver perk. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Um... What a good eye. Um, what a you know what? What's that you put there? How do you say that? Soror, soror. That's how you say that. Yeah, yeah. So Joy, you AKA. I'm about to digress real quick. S let me tell y'all something. Y'all, can I tell y'all a secret? Nobody know this except my husband. Maybe my maybe my daughter. Can I tell? Give me some hearts if I if I can tell you. Joy, tell me if you tell my AKA or what sorority you talk about. And oh, we got so many. Oh my God, we got so many comments. Lord Jesus, let me get back to. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Nobody know this, but Coach. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to Joy. Where, where did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell y'all my secret. I have an associate's degree, right? I went back. Verizon was paying for me to go to school, right? And so. I got up to, I think I got, I, can, I keep mixing this up. It's either 12 credits or 12 classes that I need for a bachelor's degree. And I dropped out because I was making more money. This was with my previous um, uh, venture before I met Coach Rob, when I had franchises and stores and all kind of stuff, right? And I dropped out. One of the things, you know how we all have a secret or something within? Guys, I want to be in a sorority so bad. <laughs> I want to be in a sorority so bad. I told Coach yesterday, Coach said, Michelle, go back and finish your classes. And I, but am I too old to pledge? Should, I want to be in one. I, just, I love that click. So maybe, oh, shoot, Coach, this is my sorority. Y'all, my sisters, sororers. Did I say that right? You know, sometimes my New York accent get in there. So this is mine. This is my sorority. Yes. Hey, what's the pledge? Hey, hey, ha, yeah. Oh, what? Ha, yeah, ha. <laughs> I want to be an AKA so bad. I 
want to be an AKA so bad. I promise you I do, guys. I want to be a daggone AKA so bad. I would pay my way to get in. <laughs> can somebody help me? You, you know, in the hood, you can get a hookup for anything. You get a hookup for anything. You could buy a social security card. You could buy a driver's license. You could buy kids. You could buy food stamps. You could buy everything. Can I buy my way as an AKA? <laughs> <laughs> just joking guys all right let me get back on business here okay all right y'all y'all yes uh it's time to go already uh, well no nakia coach said i'm good he's still he he, he doing his thing yes coach rob is home yes y'all already know <sighs> trinetta i'm at 50 minutes all right trinetta trinetta all right guys we need to break trinetta in so Trinetta came from the home care side when she ran my business. And now she switched over to the Coach Michelle world. And she's my personal assistant. And she's amazing. She keeps sending me 10-minute alerts. Can y'all tell her that I keep going and going like the Energizer Buddy? I'm going to do better, Trinetta, though. I promise you, I'm going to make your job so easy for you. You're going to be able to do something that my husband hasn't been able to do. Keep me on track. But I got to keep going. Can y'all break Trinetta in? Okay, okay, okay. Please explain how to create your... Huh? Don't break her in? Coach Rob said, do not break Trinetta in. He hired Trinetta in 2015. He said, leave his girl alone. He said, do not break Trinetta in. Trinetta, Co Coach Rob, Mr. Williams said, do what you do and keep me on track. <laughs> Please explain how to create your own training. It's it's simple. It's just like, well, no, let me take that back, Renee, because some I I don't like when people say something is simple. It's simple for me because I know how to do it. And I'm pretty sure there's things that you know how to do that's simple for you. So I want to make sure I take that back. So to create training is 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 like you have to figure out what type of training you need. Does your state have specific requirements? If they do, then you have to follow those rules, rules, regulations, codes, coma, whatever it is. If not, then you do it based on what you want to train your caregivers on, dementia. So then you, you know, create it based on that. You do your research, your due diligence, you pay your nurse, you pay someone to do it, you hire a writer, whatever it is to get it um, done. We already know what time it is. Yes, Kenyatta, hello. I heard the door alarm. So see, I'm so far behind in these notes. Coach, everyone heard the alarm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I use in the know. Okay, Silverstein. Yep, it is. It's very good in the know. Uh huh. S yep, Joy. Everybody heard the alarm. Everybody laughing out loud. And I'm so behind because there's so somebody put hashtag Coach Rob is home. <laughs> Nakia, Nakia, I'm gonna get you at conference. Nakia said hashtag Coach Rob home. Yes. Um, I have another stream of income, but Medicaid is the only one bringing in income. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Let me. Maybe I misunderstood that. I have another stream of income, but Medicaid is the only uh, only one bringing in income. Do I do? Do you feel I, I'm doing something wrong? So I can't say you're doing something wrong, dear, because I don't know you. Um. Uh. Yeah. So I I don't know you. I don't know what marketing you're doing. I don't know how much you're spending. I don't know where you are investing your marketing dollars. I don't know how often you market. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know if you're saying the right thing. I, I don't know anything because I don't, I'm not coaching you. So I can't tell you that you're doing something wrong. Um, but I think, well, I can't even say, yeah, I would be speculating and not, you know, coming from a place of intelligence um, or knowledge. Um, I do my own training, um, same, do orientation, um, two hour minimum. Yep. There you go. Good job. Um, let's see. It's a whole lot of money in the room. You already know. What's up? What's up? What's up? And I'm here and I'm worried that MCOs in, um, aren't, and yeah, some, um, some are accepting and some may not be accepting a lot of, um, um, Medicaid, um, um, MCOs and, um, uh, uh, CMOs, a, a lot of them are reevaluating because there's so much fraud. There's so many providers and a lot of them are not doing anything. Some of them are not doing things right. So sometimes it takes them a little longer because they're cleaning the system out as well. 
um, purging the system. So just stay positive. And you should not, let me tell you this to you, Anne Marie. You said, um, I'm worried that the MCOs and PA aren't accepting any agencies. So you're worried about that. You're putting energy into it. You're thinking about it. You need to stop. Right? You need to stop. Guys, stop giving something you don't want so much attention and energy. Think about what it's going to look like. Think about how can you prepare for when they accept your company. Y'all got to stop thinking. I'm telling you guys, mindset, 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 mindset. Speaking your tongue, your tongue, your tongue, your words, your words, your words. You have to change. Stop thinking about it. So, stop thinking. Some of y'all right now thinking, oh, my husband ain't home yet. Uh, uh, he must be out there cheating. Well, maybe you sending him to cheat. You stressing him. Stop. Stop. My son out there doing something he ain't got no business doing. Did you teach him to do stuff he ain't got no business doing? Did he show you that he's doing, doing something he ain't got no business doing? I can't get no clients right and you're not. I can't do this. You can't. Start saying the positive things, guys. I promise you. I know this like I know my name. Is that you give energy to what you want. Give energy. What was that Mother Teresa said? About um, wish she. Mother Teresa said, "I will not go to," and I'm paraphrasing a little because I, I, I the, in the beginning, I will not go to a uh, anti uh, war uh, rally, but I will go to a peace rally. What's the difference? Is the words semantics mindset? Nancy, I can't wait. I can't wait either. I really wish I could come to conference, but um, I'll be there next year. Okay. Uh, ain't no conference like Coach Michelle conference. That's right. That's the truth. It's the truth. Hashtag promise. What did we do to hash? Oh, yes. I was going to say, what did we do hashtag promise for? That was so long ago. Yes. Hashtag promise. I just want y'all to come. Hashtag promise. Triple promise, Silverstein. Yes. Come to conference with an open mind, guys. Yes, 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 yes. I started my homemaker companion in New York. Um, can I build Medicare or private insurance? I already told y'all. I already told y'all. Medicare doesn't pay for the services that y'all are offering. Private insurance, yes. I have I have um, VIPs in New York. I have a superstar VIP in New York. Remember she just posted... Um, who, who, uh, uh, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago that she did 1.5 million last year and she's in New York and she did home make a companion. So yes, um, I want to be there. Saeed, my brother, Saeed, 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 come on, Saeed, 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 that's all I'm saying, Saeed. <laughs> I love you. Uh, promise to come to conference with an open mind. That's all I'm. I'm asking you guys. Calm, guys. I will. I. I. I will. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Um. We ready to do the work? Yes. Come on, guys. Um. I got lost. I have paperwork policies. Um. Okay. Um. I will be there. Okay. Uh. Next year. Okay. Um. Want me to say, Coach? Cause she tripping. Let let that have a walk. What? <laughs> what me? What me to say, Coach? Cause she tripping. Let that have a walk. Who? I look. I don't talk about so much stuff, Michelle. What are you talking about? I'm still scrolling. I'm trying to get to see what y'all said about the AKA. Come on, Coach. Tell us. Um, tell the truth. Shame the devil. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I posted it um, on the page um, that I got my license. Jesus, Lord, I had to delete it because I felt, oh, put it back, baby. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back up there that you got your license. And somebody say something that's not positive, block them. You don't need them. Block them. I agree. That's right. That would be, yeah, mm -hmm, to exit. So, yep. Oh, I know what you're talking about now, Michelle. Okay, I'm back on track. Preach. Okay, Kimberly. I'm oh, okay. Kimberly said preach. Okay, okay, come on, guys. Um, she so okay, okay. So y'all still talking about that. Okay. Try, yep, uh-huh. Help, help the people, coach. I'm trying to help the people, Tish. I'm trying. 
Um, I'm all ears. Okay. Um, you are the best leader I have come across so far and I have seen plenty. Oh, Saeed, thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, it's good to have positive people in your, um, yes. OMG, I'm ready. Yes. Um, make sure the people around you add value to your life. Exactly. Um, we need more people like you around coach. Yes, 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 yes. You guys can become those people for other people and teach them. I was just telling Trinetta yesterday when she was in my home that I teach people how to treat me. Don't tell me you're going to treat me the way you want to be treated, baby. No, because you may be crazy. You may let people curse you. You may do all kinds of stuff. So I teach people, one of my mantras, I teach people how to treat me. Um, she is the best coach with an honest heart. I can, that's the only way I can be. I can't be no other way. Then I would not be authentic. I would not love this. I would not take my time out to come and answer your questions for free. I would be like, hey, click the link and sign up for a consultation. You got questions? Click the link. You in a group and people helping you and ain't the answer that I would give or it may not be the right answer. Nope, mm -mm, that's on you. You got if you want the answer, you better pay for some coaching. No, I try to con not try. I constantly give you guys right. So some things I charge for, some things I give, and then sometimes I'm just overflow in giving, right? Because I love what I do. I love it. I love helping y'all. But I gotta be real. I can't sugarcoat stuff. I get lost for words when I try to say it in a what diplomatic way i gotta be me i gotta say it my way um that's how me and my husband balance each other yep mm -hmm. teamwork yep backbone absolutely yep mm -hmm. get them squares out your circle <laughs> yesterday i deleted my excitement uh okay let's see sierra says speak coach speak coach don't allow dream killers yes that's right coach i would like to schedule some time um which path do i take so missy send me a message so i can tell you which way to go because I, I i don't know if where where you are i don't know if you are doing the month to month in the vip or where you are so send me um a message inbox me here on facebook and then i'll respond and tell you which way to go so um a matter of fact I don't know if Coach put it in here. But anyway, I'll let you know, Missy. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. Um, I have been doing the work, reaching out to insurance company and waiting for a response. Um, yep, keep doing the work, baby. You got to do the work, but you got to make sure you're doing the right work. Got to make sure you're doing the right work because sometimes we do busy work, but it seems like you're on the right track. But um, but again, I don't know because I don't know what you're saying. Like, I do a lot of role playing with my clients. So I know what they saying, right, y'all? Where my VIPs? I know what my VIPs saying because I role play with them. Keep going excited for you. Yes, amen, 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 amen. Okay. Okay, I think I may have caught up. Um, Nadine said, I'm doing how you taught me, but dang, they getting expensive. So, um, so Nadine, if your payroll is getting expensive, that means you making money, baby. That means you making money. Cause it, payroll goes up when you when your pay go up when you when your hours go up when you paying the caregivers more. So guys, let me say this: is that when you start when when you're used to being at a certain level, there's some growing pains. Trinetta said one hour. <laughs> Trinetta, one hour. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up. I'm trying to scroll quick to get to the AKA because I know some of y'all done said something about it and some of y'all probably gave me some ideas. Some of y'all probably told me I need to go back to school. Some of y'all probably told me I'm too old. Some of y'all probably said you got the hookup. I don't care. I got to get to it. So yes, Nadine. So it could be just because your, your, your employee, your roster is growing. So they're charging you more, but definitely check the pulse. Get some, um, get some, um, um, do some research and get some quotes. Um, do you pay, um, pay for your, your staff for orientation? So it depends on where you are in the country. If you pay for orientation or not, it depends on how you do your orientation. Depends on what you call it. Um, is it better to pay caregivers weekly, bi-weekly? There's no good or bad. It's better or worse. It's better or better. It just depends on you. Um, and caregivers probably would prefer to get paid weekly. We were paying our caregivers weekly. So, but it just depends on what, how you want to do it. But think about yourself. Would you like to get paid weekly? Um, hi, Coach. Thanks for having this conversation. You're welcome, LaShawn. You're welcome, LaShawn. Um, okay, y'all talking about the TB test. Oh, I'm way behind. 
Um, yes. Um, do you require um, to get... Everybody should get their TB test. But we don't, you know, mandate anything else. Go by the, 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 the state. Uh, um, what are the expenses of um, a caregiver? So, well, the expenses of a caregiver, Damon, would be your employer taxes, right? Um, and then your training. So, um, and then any incentives, benefits that you're offering to the caregiver. What's up, Gloria Baker? My dear, love you. Yes, 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 yes. Um, who was that said, teach me? Sarah, teach me. That's right. Those payroll companies don't give no discounts. Baby, I'll be working trying to get y'all some discounts. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. We love David. Yes, David, the Solutions Group. They are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And then we are... Um, and then we have another sponsor, Gardenia. Gardenia and her partner, they are going to help teach us about net worth guys it's so important net worth net worth net worth so we're gonna um i need y'all to be open to hear some of y'all may need, not need stuff that day but you're gonna need it in the future some of y'all may have other businesses your spouses boyfriend girlfriends may have businesses so you're gonna learn stuff at conference gardenia and her partner they are going to be talking to you about Gardenia, are you on here? They're going to be talking to you about a lot of great stuff. And one of the things that I asked them to talk about is net worth. It's very, very important. You know, right now, Coach Rob and I, we're doing a lot in, in, in money that we've, you know, received, money that we've acquired. We are flipping that money, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, in some investments and stock and all kind of stuff. So you got to know your net worth. And they specialize in insurance, so they're going to talk to you about life insurance, all kind of stuff. Stuff that I don't even know they're going to talk about, even though I have life insurance with her company. Um, yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm trying to get, I'm going to scroll fast. What's up, Ebony? I'm trying, I'm going, I'm going, going, hey, 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 hello, everyone. So, I'm going quick, guys, because because all right i see some of my 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 vips posted the link for the candid conversation on monday talking about staffing not this monday monday the 14th what is a good bank to open up a business um again none of them banks paying me and none of them banks giving y'all no special discounts so i'm not gonna say a bank i would say google and just google top five um, banks for small business owners or talk to your local SBA score office. But I'm not shouting people out no more. If they ain't paying me, no sponsorships, no um, discounts for my clients, you got to give me something. Why am I going to constantly be sending you all these clients and you not giving my clients a discount? And you ain't paying for no paid sponsorship. No, I mean, uh, I have over a million um, views on YouTube. Over a million. With 25,000 followers. No, they're going to pay for that. But most importantly, I want them to give me discounts like they give the franchises. They need to rep they need to understand that my tribe bigger than these franchises. So I'm not shouting people out unless they're giving y'all a discount. Coach, I need help uh, with the way to pay. So, so Missy, just send me the message, like I said, and, um, and then I'll figure out if where you are and how I can help you and what would be your options, okay? Um, uh, is Square a good way to collect money? It's not a bad way. I don't recommend it, but it's not bad. I've already registered and so look. Yes, Laudemere, Trinetta's going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. And we may even show out and get Coach Rob on there. Um, let's see. Um, can a conversation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you for putting Kate's name, guys. So if you're using Pro ProWeaver, Kate Morales, her number is 949-769-2302. 949-769-2302. Uh, any sponsor info on home care tax? Let me see. Any sponsor info on home care tax specialist? Home care tax specialist. I never heard of home care tax specialist. I've never heard of that. So tax is tax. Business is business. Write offs are write offs. So um, I I don't I don't know I don't know I've never heard of that. Man, I'm not sure um, I can come. I'm trying. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, it's that conference. Um, hello. Um, 
Um, we will be able to buy a conference replay. Um, can't make it to no, we, we don't, we don't, we're not doing a conference replay. So guys, let me say this. A lot of y'all are asking for a conference replay. It, well, no, that's not true. You're the only one, Marie, that asked for a conference replay, but a lot of you are asking for us to do virtual saying you would pay for a virtual cause you can't be there. Guys, I cannot. No, that's not true. I choose not to see how mindful I'm, my, my words and how fast I autocorrect hashtag autocorrect. I autocorrect myself cause I'm so alert is so aware is so awake um or or awoke or however you want to say it right so my conference is so electrifying you got to be there you got to be there i and i'm never gonna put my conference in vibe and energy and feeling in a replay or in a virtual environment, a virtual environment, because the camera is going to be faced this way. I need my people to get the energy. I need my people to feel the energy. I need my people to talk to other people that were in their shoes. I need my people to network. I need my people to feel me in person. So I, if I was doing it for the money, then I say, heck yeah. You know what I mean? People, I could have a thousand people, a thousand people pay a hundred dollars. Man, I could, I could put a down payment on a house if I keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I, I haven't even done any commercials, no YouTube video, nothing talking about conference. Nothing. I've only said conference here and conference on the private group and conference, you know, via my text. So I want the people that are supposed to be there. And many of you that can't come, and you want to be there, I would love for you to be there. But I have to protect the energy and the integrity of what I put out. So I will not do. I know a lot of other people do virtual, but I'm not doing this for the money. I, I need y'all to feel me, see me, get my my vibe. I need y'all to catch my wave because I'm, I'm doing some amazing things. Just keeping it real, my VIPs are doing amazing things. And I, I need people. I want people. I, it's not... It's not like you come into conference and you're paying for conference. It is not. It's not regular. It's different. It's different, and I I need people to get that. So you know. So a lot of people want to pay for a virtual, but I'm I'm not gonna do a virtual. Mm -mm. Now, if I was about the money, heck yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. All day, every day. Virtual. You get a virtual. You get a virtual. You get a virtual. Mm -mm. No. All right. Where's the stuff about the AKA? Did anybody put stuff on AKA? Dang. Come on now. I'm going to have to skip some of this stuff because I smell that rotisserie chicken. Um, Let's see. I'm skipping some stuff, y'all, because we way past our time. Yes. I'm skipping. I'm skipping until I get to an AKA. Somebody, somebody said something about some daggone sorority. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Let's see. Um, y'all still, y'all put so much stuff in there. We probably got 3,000 daggone comments. Tell us. Um, Come on. Come on. Come on, where nobody put nothing about no deck one aka? I can't be an aka. Oh, come on. Oh, let's see. All right, nobody says so. I I just I guess I gotta go back to school. Boo, I'm a delta. So can, what's up, Joy? Can I become a delta? <laughs> see how I flip so quick? I wanna be in a sorority. So what so what what? I know I said this is my sorority. I know, but I was playing. So what's up? This is my sorority. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I got to it. Delta, um, service. This wait, wait, wait. Um, uh, let's see. I'm skipping, y'all. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Nobody said something nothing about no Delta, no sorority, no AKA. So y'all ain't trying to help me out. Your secret is my secret too, Coach Sierra. <laughs> Sierra, what are we gonna do? We have the same secret. Oh God. Come on. Uh, I said it right. Okay, thank you, Missy. Um, can I join the live? But I'll catch the replay. Absolutely. I'm leaving this up, guys. Only time of the video is not the the live is not left up is when I play music and Facebook shuts me down. N no, you're not. Do it, Coach. Go back. Oh, let's see. Yes, yeah, start one. Okay, so look, Chanel, Chanel. Chanel, don't don't pump me up now. Chanel says, start what? Okay, so this is gonna be my sorority. We need to come up with our colors and our pledge. <laughs> no.
Nakia, you gonna help me? Chanel, you gonna help me? Uh, I'm funny. Okay. Uh, coach is clowning right there. Okay. I wanted to be one. Okay. Okay. So not, um, not play. Pay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, don't say it. Don't say it uh, loud, Coach Joy. Okay, I'm not supposed to say it loud. So, but I, so I can pay. I can pay. I can pay. <laughs> uh, we are the tribe. Uh, we paying our way to get in. Uh, uh, you are my uh, Coach Michelle Academy. So, oh, what's up, Anisha, my sister, Coach Michelle Academy sorority. Okay, so this is the Coach Michelle Academy sorority. Okay, there we go. It's never too late. Okay, okay. Um, you have to apply for it. Um, I just started my application. You need two addresses. To, okay, well, you okay? You talking about something else? I'm on this whole other thing right now. Hey, y'all finally parked my uh, um, car. Okay, hey. Uh, you don't have to. You can be an honorable. How, how? What? So Nadine, wait a minute. What do you mean honorable? Do Do I still get to wear the stuff? <laughs> Are they gonna tell me I'm fronting and I'm fake? <laughs> huh? Let's see. Uh, she's a good assistant, but it's hard for you to walk away from us. I know. I know. Trinetta is the best. I agree with Coach Rob. Stay on track. Okay. Okay. I'm getting ready to go right now. Uh, give us time, Trinetta, please. Missy said, please give us some time. Okay. When you go, um, when do you know it's time to get an assistant? Um, what do you have them do? Okay. So that's a great question. Maybe that could be a candid conversation, but um, you need an assistant when you can no longer do it yourself. That's one. And or in the beginning when you don't want to do it because you want to focus on growing your business and not try to wear every single hat. Um, Coach, I'm um, uh, I'm back rebuilding after COVID. My state is finally opening. Okay. Okay. Tiffany Robinson. Yes, girl. You know, we love you. Can't. Can't worry about the things you can't control. Right, right. Don't. All right, guys. Y'all, y'all got, y'all got a lot. Y'all got a lot. I can't even catch up. I can't, I can't even catch up. What about? Wait a minute, Nadine. What you talking about? Some Greek letters. What you talking about? Um, mine says everything. Okay, I um, give energy. Okay, okay. I'm booking my flight tomorrow. Book your flight, girl. Book your flight. Get your ticket if y'all ain't get your ticket. Myhomecarecoach.com. Click on events and get your ticket. We still have some left. We we added 40 more tickets. I think we sold about 10, 12 tickets last night. Uh, people invested. We didn't sell them. They invested. Um, when a friend told us she didn't have... Uh, yes, Michelle. I remember it afterwards. You know, um, say with me, I'm ready to change my mind. Yes, yes, yes. Lord shift. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm concerned with a couple... Um, okay, excellent. Do I need to become a provider to... Well, it, it they, they'll... Um, no, mm -mm. And once you if when you when you're dealing with long term insurance guys, a lot of them are no longer. Um, this has been some for some time. They're not like saying, "Hey, come through. We're gonna put you through, put you on our list." Once you have a client that has long term insurance and that client wants to use you, then they're gonna take you through their credentialing process. So, um, um, so you'll be fine. Okay, guys. Um, uh. Okay, okay, I gotta go. Lord Jesus, look, I'm just scrolling. I'm scrolling. This this probably a hundred. Oh my god, I can't catch up. I can't catch up. Um, the last comment I see, I had to scroll like crazy, guys. It's from Shirley, my girl Shirley. Can't wait. Hubby and I are coming. Yes, Kathy, I am ready. Yes. Okay, Coach, we gotta talk about um sorority stuff later. Okay, we talk about that later. We talk about that later. Let's let's do it, Coach. That's my secret too. Lynn, Sierra. Oh my God, so many of us, three of us have that secret. Anybody here? Please recommend they um the back to school. You work. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. Love y'all. 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 I smell this thing on chicken that rotisserie machine is um moving quick moving quick so tiffany real quick and i may miss some real quick the credit the, when you go through credentialing for the insurance company they need your um license for for your state they need your business license they need you have to have a million dollar policy with at least a three million aggregate um you need to have um workers comp um general liability professional liability uh, you need to list them on your insurance, which is no big deal. It doesn't cost you anything. Well, some companies may pay. We don't pay. Um, you f have to fill out a W-9. 
and um, you sign their paperwork. You have their agreement. You have to agree to their um, pay um, pay scale, depending on what kind of company it is. Long term insurance, you don't have to do that. And um, those are the main things, right? Right there. Those are the main things. So. Love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, love you guys. Trinetta, I'm going to do better, girl. I'm going to do better. You you real new. You real new, Trinetta, to this side. You real new to this side. So I'm going to do better. I don't want to change you. Continue to be an amazing, the amazing person you are. You're going to be an amazing um, personal assistant. And um, don't let me change you. Let me continue to help you grow so you can make more money. You can help me and, and, and everything that I do, personal and business, but don't let me change you, girl. Stay on track. Keep me, try to reel me in. You need, you know, them, those, those, those chokers they put on them pit bulls and they had, and they had the, 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 the spokes or whatever they're called that, that stick in their neck. And when they, ah, ah, and then they pull it back. Ah, ah. So Trinetta, you need to get one of those for me. <laughs> I love you, Kathy. All right, guys, y'all take care. God bless. Get your candy conversation, guys. They put it in here many times. They put it in here many times. The link is in here. Click on it. Pay your little $69. Get a whole lot of value. And if you come in a conference, get your ticket if you don't have it. And if not, I'll see you on the next live. Um, and um, love you, 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 love you. Take care, guys. God bless.